Hello ladies and gentle nerds, my name is Deloop and welcome back to RimWorld. When we left off, we had a bit of a harsh battle of wits against these pirate bands. They're leaving here. They're uh, retreating. They decided to try and kidnap people. Now, uh, I have the game paused. We're going to kind of go over the injuries. I need to uh, kind of get my thoughts together, figure out what we need to do. Um, we've got... Joni here, he's got a gunshot to his left foot. He's got a couple bruises and cracks from a club. That's not too bad. Murphy here has got a bruise and a gunshot to his torso. He's got three bruises and a crack in his spine. Ooh. So Murphy's got a crack in his spine. He is able to move, so it's not, not too bad. He's not paralyzed or anything. Frigid here is just fine. Now, Zero Vapor is the, um, the bad one. It says moving none. He cannot move. Zero Vapor is stuck. He's a uh, frail, bruised club and uh he's got some trivial blood loss um and he got his left leg cut off um i'm not sure how that happened i believe it was from a club or this thing here either way his his leg is gone so uh we need to get him medical attention immediately now these guys who are able to walk i can go ahead and uh set them to to go um and that means i should probably undraft all of them here and then uh make sure he's not drafted okay murphy you go ahead and get in the hospital bed rest Joni. rest frigid rescue zero vapor uncheck this medicine we're going to be using the good medicine today we need to save zero vapor and it's going to be tricky so everybody's moving they're going to get in their beds okay frigid Prioritize treating Zero Vapor. It is an emergency. We need to stop that blood loss. Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna patch up Zero Vapor here. Okay, Zero Vapor is all patched up. Next off, go ahead and uh, treat Joni here. We're gonna use all our good medication. I don't want to lose all my people. And uh, Joni's gonna take a bit of a to patch up. There's a lot of bruises and stuff. Okay, next treat Murphy. Okay, Zero Vapor's good for the time being. She's uh, out of the woods. <clears throat> but she's not going to live yet. Now what are you doing? Consuming a survival meal. Go ahead and uh, consume that survival meal. Okay, you're going to go all the way up here to do that. That's good. Okay, next off. We need to go to Zero Vapor here. We're going to go to Health. Operations. Add Bill. And it was her left leg that got cut off. So we'll install a peg leg. Frigid is going to go uh, prioritize operating on Zero Vapor. We've got poor mood. Murphy's in a very bad mood. And we got a mad animal. It's kind of far away. I'm going to mark him to be hunted. Okay. That should be fine. Hopefully this operation goes smoothly. Zero Vapor. Look. Peg leg. He's got some surgical cuts on his arm. That's because he's not a fantastic doctor. He's in severe pain, very poor consciousness, very poor moving and manipulation. That's because uh, under anesthetic. So now uh, go ahead and uh, treat her zero vapor here again. Uh oh, Frigid is incapable of actually fighting. Um, we got a knife here. Let's go ahead and draft you. Melee attack the hair. Speed it up, come on. Before Frigid gets rabies or something. We'll let that go. A frigid here will we'll go ahead and treat those cuts. Okay, come on. It can't be that hard to kill a hare. There it goes. Okay, Joni, what you got some probably some bites. Yeah, you got some bites. Okay, I want you to rest until healed. Frigid here is going to help out with all this. Now, Murphy is actually fully healed. He's going to go consume some rice. But he's got some blood loss. Trivial. Okay, so he's, he's alright. <clears throat> Frigid has some bites. Um, what I think we can do is Murphy here can uh, go ahead and treat Frigid. Because uh, Murphy does have some medicine skill. Um, that way Frigid can get healed up too. We'll let uh, Murphy go consume the rice. I don't care. Frigid's going to get in the bed. Murphy actually get back here. 
Murphy's not a doctor. So uh, we'll go ahead and set Murphy to just a high, like a doctor if I really need him to be. I don't want him prioritizing doctor. Okay, treat frigid. Okay, next off, treat Joni. And what are you doing? Severe pain. It's because the anesthetic's probably wearing off. We are pretty much out of the woods there. Okay. Poor mood. Okay, low food, low medicine, starvation. We're going to start saving the rest of this medicine in case we have an operation or something. Next off is um, power is still not, not too great. So they can't actually cook yet. Well, that's fine. Things are getting done now. Everybody's just kind of hurt and whatnot. Zero vapors on her feet. Medium pain. She's got some surgical cuts. How are your needs? Starving in moderate amount of pain. Naked. Joy deprived. You're naked? Really? Why oh, you got a Synthread jacket on? You know what? Um, zero vapor. Come over here. And strip this per this person. We're going to have to bury him too. Okay. Then um, why don't you wear that? And then uh, go ahead and uh, prioritize. No, oh, we don't have any graves. I thought I had some graves set up somewhere. Maybe not. Okay, well, um, we'll go ahead and get some graves. Uh, we'll go to miscellaneous, grave. I, I could have sworn I did have some graves. Now, I want to kind of keep these closer to base. That way, um, when my people go to visit it, they don't have to walk too far. And I'm thinking, like, right here ought to be good. Let me just cancel this one. Okay. Alright, everybody's kind of out of the woods as long as we don't get any infections. Hopefully we won't. He's got some malnutrition, so maybe I should make sure he gets fed. Hey, Frigid, can you, uh, feed Joni here? Sounds great. Who's our construction worker? We've got, um, Frigid should be uh, doing construction as soon as he's done taking his walk. How's our dog being trained? Is it trained yet? No. Nobody's been set to actually train him. We haven't really had the food to do so yet, so I'm not prioritizing that. Um, we got a bunch of other stuff that is more important. But it looks like everybody's pretty much out of the woods. Zero Vapor's not fully healed yet, but uh, she'll get there. She's in very little pain. Uh, she's got very poor moving, and that's because of the uh, peg leg. So she, she actually moves pretty slow. Zero Vapor is now fully healed. See, again, very poor moving. But shh, it's alive, so that's better than nothing. Everyone's still going to their own bedrooms. We have uh, Joni here who doesn't quite have a bed. And Joni's fully healed. Fantastic. Actually, does Joni have a bed yet? No. Okay, well, uh, let's make sure he gets one built. Got a wooden bed. We got the heater in there, so we'll go to secure uh, structure, a wooden door. And uh, that's it. Now I kind of want these to be built before everything. So I'm not going to prioritize any more of that. Because right now we've got a lot to do. We need to get our all this stuff up and running. Now orders. Let's get power. I'm going to need to run a power line in here. Okay. That'll make sure that the cook stove gets some power. Failed to recruit Noriko. 13% chance. Now why am I keeping this person again? Oh, the, the magnificent growing and construction skills. This is an awesome person. He's not really incapable of anything. Um, he's good at melee, which is fine. He won't use drugs, and he's a very hard worker. The only issue is he's very hard to recruit. So, well, we'll still work on it, but it's going to take some time. Which is alright. 
Okay, and we got a second solar panel set up that's going to start helping with some of the power issues. Um, obviously, it's nighttime, so it won't now, but it will eventually. Okay, all three solar panels are now up. He should start building all the vents and the heater. Uh, speaking of heater, we shouldn't, we're probably going to need power conduits a little bit closer. I'll just take them all the way out to here. Uh, once these vents are all built and this air conditioner, we will have like all the rooms will start to be cooled better. All right, maybe um okay. So Frigid is our warden, and he's probably the highest warden. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make Murphy a higher priority constructor. That way, uh, we we have somebody actually working on it. Ooh, cargo pods. Where is those? What did we get? We got some husky fur. Not bad. We can uh, make clothing out of it. Some steel. Oh, the steel was probably already there. How far away is that though? It's not too far away. I'll go ahead and unmark it for moving, and it'll eventually get moved. Um, because I think we do have a, pro a couple of priority haulers. Joni here is like that's basically the only thing he can do. He can mine, but we don't have anything set to mine. And uh, Murphy here is gonna construct before he hauls. So Joni will uh, go and haul stuff. He's probably gonna prioritize stuff closer to home, but that's fine. Uh, we got our sandbags set up, which is awesome. Um, with our little thing here and then what I think I'll do is uh, I'll probably set a turret in here but for now this is fine new recruit oh yes we have Nor Noriko here this is our brand new recruit he's gonna start working right away so we found out he's really really good at constructing I definitely want him constructing um, he's also very, uh, kinda good at mining, so we'll have him mine too. He's fantastic at growing, so we'll uh, get that on. Uh, repairing, I actually want everybody on repairing. If, if there's something to be repaired, I want everybody to just prioritize it, because it's not often that you actually have to repair something. So look, he's incapable of nothing. That's awesome. Uh, he's a really bad warden. And um, yeah, I think that'll be good. So he'll uh, he'll work on constructing and mining and stuff, which is fantastic. It took a while to get him get him going here. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five bedrooms. One, two, three, four, five people. So he doesn't have a bedroom just yet, but as soon as this bed gets built, he will. And hopefully, they'll get that done pretty soon. Actually. Let me see if I can get somebody to prioritize it. Because he has nowhere to sleep. And he just fell asleep on the ground. Well, the door got built at least. Rico, I know you want to sleep, but can you uh, just prioritize working on this? Because uh, as soon as you get that built, you'll have a bed. You won't need to sleep on the ground. Okay, keep working. Come on. Okay. Sweet. We got that prisoner. I'm going to go ahead and keep this uh, prisoner area as a, as a cell or whatever. It's fine. Uh, medical area. We'll keep that the way it is. That way if we can uh, capture another prisoner and we do have the room for it. Uh, let's go ahead and architecture orders, haul things. Let's make sure all of this is getting hauled out. Um, next off, I think I want to start building out the storage room. We have our freezer set up fine and everything else is fine and dandy. Um, why don't we just start getting this mined out. Or do we want a dining room first? Let's get a dining room first. So we'll get that kind of mined out. Then I'll just have a door here. Okay. Fantastic. Everything will be mined out. Now, where was that husky fur? Did it get picked up yet? I think it was like up here. No, it did not. And it's going to degrade eventually. So what I want to do is I want to get somebody out there to do it. Now, Joni is mining, right? 
and he's set to haul if there is no if there is no mining. I'm gonna go ahead and tell him to prioritize hauling for now. So let's uh, let's turn off mining for the time being. Let's just keep him hauling, and I'm gonna go tell him to prioritize hauling husky fur. That way, he gets some of it back, and maybe he'll keep making that trip. Now he will eventually. What he'll do is he'll clear out all the rubble and everything, and then he'll move the husky fur, which is fine. But it it's not what exactly what I want. Now everybody's kind of set to a priority cook. Um, the cooking bench. We've what's our highest cooking level? Three, four. Rico, level four cook. Oh, I never added a bill. Let's go simple meal. Do until I have, if, say, 20. Let's say minimum cooking skill of 3. We will take to best stockpile. Sounds good to me. Okay. This should be a stockpile only for meats. Did I get the uh, medicine in here? Yes. Herbal medicine. Fantastic. Um, so we got that bill. Let's go into another bill here. Let's add a fine meal. Yeah, I know. Nobody can do it. That's fine. Do until I have 20. And only if somebody with cooking skill of 6 can do this one. Okay. Then we'll go to the butcher table. Butcher creature. Do forever. Anybody can do this one. And we're good to go. So now people start actually butchering this hair and cooking. And Noriko will cook here. And he's going to cook some uh, meals for everybody. Which is better than eating all the raw food. And uh, Zero Vapor's cleaning, which is great. Um, this looks dirty, but it's not. It's kind of weird. But he's all happy. We don't actually have anybody that is in a bad mood. Um, we have seven full bars worth of food. So we actually, uh, it says we don't have a whole lot of food, but we do, in fact, have food. Hops, why um, aren't you being stored in here? Foods, raw food, uh, vegetarian. Ooh, hops aren't actually in here. Hmm. Wonder where it would be. Raw resources, hops. Let's make sure to get that in there. Is there anything else that I forgot? Um, apparel body parts. I mean, I guess we could just say body parts can go in there. At least stuff that would rot. And that should be fine. So those hops will now be refrigerated. Um, and we'll, we'll continue to add stuff in there as we forget about it. And this stuff's fine. We're going to get this stockpile up and running, and then uh, we'll be able to sat move our stockpile indoors, which will help out with everything. Noriko's visiting a grave. Now remember, that grave is his buddy, so that's why he's visiting it. We're going to go to zone area, expand home zone. Let's go ahead and include all of this. And I'm going to go ahead and just say include this, this, th and this. This is our dumping zone. You can see skeletons here. This is set for uh, animal corpses that went bad. Um, clear home zone. Let's make sure to clear that. And I just want to make this home zone. Mostly because I want to clean up that all that blood. But, um, yeah. And you know what? This whole, like, area here can just be a home zone. Like, it shouldn't be that hard to get it clean. Because once it's clean, we don't really have to do it again very soon. That sounds good. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, I had to mute my mic, get a drink of water there. They're mining out the dining room. That's great. Um, they've got meals all good and dandy. Um, this rice should be pretty... Uh, yeah, it's, see, the rice is grown, but nobody's actually um, growing it, which is kind of weird. 
Do I want to kind of set everybody to growing? I definitely want a couple of people, like, definitely growing, right? Um, so these three, out of all three of them, they should grow. But it's also plant cut. Oh, no, that's wild plants. Okay, so growing consists of uh, harvesting, too. Oh, yeah, growers plant seeds and harvest grown crops. Our strawberries are done growing, too. So uh, somebody should get out there and, uh, and harvest those eventually. I'm just wondering why it's taking them so long. Uh, grow. So who's set on it? Um, we've got Zero Vapor. What are you doing, buddy? Cleaning rock rubble. Oh, he's cleaning. That's because cleaning, you shouldn't be cleaning. Why aren't you growing? I mean, let's uh, draft him and undraft. That'll kind of reset him. No? I've heard that that works. Okay, can you... uh? Why, why, why? Growth rate, 0%. Oh, night. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. See, this is 93% grown. Growth rate is at a percent, or um, is like how fast it's actually growing. So the rice is actually not fully grown. Okay, I could manually harvest it, but you actually don't get as much from it. So we'll leave it as it is. Next off, we'll go ahead and uh, get some orders here. We'll go say haul things here, um, and I'm gonna start to go to or uh, floors, smooth floor. And I'm going to smooth out all of the rooms. We'll get the hallway eventually. Can't smooth out all of this, but... Um, we're going to go to remove floor here. Smooth floor there. Actually, you know what? Just mark everything to be smooth floor. They like it a lot better anyways. Okay, everything is set to smooth. That'll take a really long time. Let's go orders again. All things we missed a rock there. All right, so everybody's got their work cut out ahead of for them. Now zero vapor here. You see uh, praying. Um, we should see somebody smoothing out stone right here. Whoever's constructing will will smooth out the stone. It does take a while to smooth it out, but it uh, they'll like it more. So if we look. See, we have a smooth stone patch here, and we have some limestone here. If we go to beauty, we can see the values of everything. The rough stone is negative one, and this is smooth stone, right? Or did I just miss it? Oh, no, this isn't smooth. I just kind of missed it. Oh, he removed the marble. Okay, well, smooth stone is a one. Now, limestone is better than smooth stone, but we don't have enough limestone to get everything. Um, you can see here, like, the uh, wood walls are just a neutral benefit, um, while the stone walls are negative one. So eventually, we'll, we'll want to get um, wood walls for all of them. And you'll see this rubble here is a really negative benefit. It's an even dirty here. But, like, his room sucks. But we can actually see here, we got a neutral beauty here, but this room, which is pretty much the same, is ugly. Right? It's the same size, the same walls, like, it should, but it doesn't have all that limestone. So we're going to um, smooth out the stone, which will give us a one boost, and then uh, get rid of that limestone. And I can use that limestone for other things. Eventually, once we kind of, like, are more ritual, we'll be able to convert all the walls into wood that'll help too because then they won't have to deal with the stone walls um let's go ahead and just continue playing um but yeah i had to do some uh some testing on that because like i could not figure out which wall was the best this dog still hasn't gotten trained huh no that's fine uh some of our zerygium is going to be grown here um I'm not going to set any more mining. I want all of this stuff taken care of first. You see he's removing the limestone. Then they'll start. Um, now that the limestone's removed, I can go to floors again, and we'll go to smooth. Make sure this all gets smoothed out. Okay, because you can't smooth the limestone, or even the stone under the limestone. anybody actually going to praying smoothing floor see okay if we go to beauty again 
We got negative 12 here because it's dirty, but we got 3 here. So it's got a natural beauty of 3. Um, come on, get. Okay. Okay, so right here we've got dirt times 1. Here we've got dirt times 1. Smooth marble. Here we got smooth marble. Now it kind of depends on what kind of smooth material it is because uh, as we're mousing over we'll see uh, marble and we'll have like some granite and stuff. I think most of this is actually marble. Rough hewn marble. Either way, the smooth marble will help with, that, with the room beauty. Maybe it is better than actual limestone. I thought it was um, only a two or a one boost. I think granite's a one boost and then maybe marble's a two. But it's free to smooth it out, too. So it doesn't actually cost us any resources. Frigid's going to do all that. Now, who is the constructing? Why aren't you guys doing your jobs? I'm going to set this guy to constructing if he's got absolutely nothing else to do. Uh, it's Murphy and Frigid. Oh, who are also both set as cooks. Uh, what is Murphy uh, doing? I think he is smoothing the floor, which is fine. So as we cook all this food that just got brought in, it'll be better. Ooh, and look! Oh, why do the simple meals look different? Oh, they're the same. They just got this little smoothing icon over it. And again, this is going to take a really long time to smooth out all the floor. But that's great. We've got some meals coming in. We got some limestone blocks. We got some guns. Everybody's all happy, minding their own business. Well, it's a peaceful little colony for now. For now. Uh, now this is set to uh, 70 degrees, and if we look on the indoors, everything should be at about 70, except the refrigerator, which is a lot colder. And uh, all these vents and stuff should be fine. And then here I've got a heater set here for 70 degrees. So if it does get too cold, I'll still be heating it 70 degrees. So no matter what, the um, the house will be a nice, comfortable 70 degrees. Let's uh, let's check out everybody's needs. Um, we got joy deprived, feeling terrible, hungry, cold, and darkness, in little in a little pain. Had social chat, very low expectation. Huh. So she's actually getting a mood boost for how bad I'm doing. Jealous. Feeling bad. Oh, so he's jealous. Someone else has a more impressive bedroom than me. He's naked, so he's mad. Okay, another thing. Uh, everybody's in the dark. They don't like that. So let's go to furniture. And this, These shouldn't take too much time to build. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just pop one in there. I shall pop one in here. We'll um, get one in there. Get one in there. In there. There. Now everyone will get a light in their bedroom. I think the uh, the floor will actually get smoothed out before that light gets placed, but that's all right. Um, at least it will uh, get done eventually, and people will not have to worry. Uh, n we should also probably get our dining room set up. So if we go to furniture, I'm going to go to wooden table. Long. We'll set that there. We'll get some wooden stools or dining table chairs. We'll probably never get eight people eating at one time, but that's fine. That'll get built eventually. Murphy's over there smoothing out his own room first priorities, right? Oh, he's praying. So what's Frigid doing? Praying? A lot of people are praying. Group of travelers are passing by. Planting is getting done. Hauling is getting done. Cooking's getting done. Frigid's over here building the table. And the chairs. He's actually only only doing the chairs. But I think it's about time to end up the episode. So thank you guys for watching. The colony is going fantastically well. Um, we're getting some of the 
not essential stuff going, which is nice. Like the mood boosting stuff instead of the uh, surviving stuff. Um, the next thing we need to worry about is some winter. So uh, we'll get to that. Thank you guys for watching. My name has been DeLoop, and I'll see you next time.